Guys, I would just encourage you to stay strong in your faith, to trust in Jesus because he is bigger than this situation right now. And trust in him and hold on to that. Love you. Hi, Trinity Church family. Can't wait till we're back together again. Love you. Stay strong. Good morning, church family. I want to offer you a word of hope and encouragement this morning from Psalm 119, verses 75 and 76 in the Message Bible. I can see now, God, that your decisions are right. Your testing has taught me what's true and right. Oh, love me, and right now, hold me tight, just the way you promised. What truth is Jesus teaching you and me in these troubling times? Whatever the lesson, he assures us it is true and right. So open yourself to receive his love and allow him to hold you tight, just as he promises he will do. Hi, Trinity family. Remember, count your blessings and not your troubles. And also remember that you are being prayed for daily. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bye, and I'll see you soon. Good afternoon, church family. Uh, just wanted to give you all a little bit of uplifting, hopefully, as we all sit in our homes and, and stare out the windows wishing we could be places. Um, I, I'm reminded of Jeremiah 29, 11. Uh, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, um, plans for prosperity and not to harm you. Um, in a time where we're all scared, confused, and aren't sure what's going on, uh, spiritual prosperity is, is such a blessing and such an excitement that we can all work towards. And, and the knowledge that he's protecting us, um, keeping us from harm, keeping us safe, uh, even when we're scared, even when we're concerned, it, it's just such a relief and something we can all hold on to greatly during this time. Um, miss you all. God bless you. Uh, hopefully we're all back together soon. In times like these, it's good to know that God is in control. Living a life of faith means never knowing where you are being led, but it does mean loving and knowing the one who is leading. It is literally a life of faith, not of understanding and reason, a life of knowing the one who calls us by Oswald Chambers. I want you to read Psalm 3, 3. It'll say something like this. For thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. God, the eternal God, is your lifter and your shield. It'll be okay. Hi, everybody. John 14, verse 27 says, In part, peace I leave with you. Peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So please live by faith, not by fear. We will all get through this together. See you soon. Trinity men and women, this is Pastor Corey. These are interesting days, but God is good and your church family and church leadership loves you and we're praying for you. To the men, God has called us to be warriors for our families, for our friends, and for our communities. Remember, Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. And also Philippians 3, 10, I want to know Christ. Yes, I want to know the power of his resurrection. And so, in that, as we read both those scriptures together, God gives us his resurrection power to overcome our fear. I'm praying for you, as is your pastor, uh, Terry, and all the rest of the church leadership. We love you. Keep up the good fight. In John 16, 33, Jesus tells us, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Those are good words to remember. Hi, church family. This is Pastor Trent and Kristen here. Um, we love you guys. We just wanted to give you guys some encouraging words. Um, with everything that's going on, we love you guys. We miss you. But we just want you all to know that Jesus has got this. Um, our God is greater, and we love him, and so he loves us, and he's got this. So we love you. We miss you. We'll see you soon. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. We love you all. Hey, everyone. Be encouraged. God is still very much in control. We love you guys.